Hello viewers, Super GT here. Now today I'm here with a very talented bunch of guys, the Straight Pipes. I was flicking through my Instagram messages a couple of days ago, and out of the blue, the Straight Pipes messaged me. And now you might be wondering, who are the Straight Pipes? We've got 900,000 subscribers on YouTube, big YouTube channel. They review cars, awesome reviews. I've actually watched watched some of their videos beforehand, which is which is what made it quite a surprise when uh, the the message popped up in my uh, inbox. I'm Yuri, I'm Jacob, we're going for a drive. COVID-19 lockdown is affecting all of us. Well, maybe not us hermit gamers who are in our houses all the time anyway. Straight Pipes obviously reviewing cars out and about normally, they can't do it at the moment. So they've turned to games. So they asked me, uh, could I help them out with um, trying to get a little bit quicker on the game? So I'm joined by them right now, uh, Jacob, and Yuri. How's it going? What's up? Right How's chat. it going? Hello. So maybe just a little bit on, on your channels. What do you do on your channel? And I mean, how long you've been doing it and and how's it gone for you well, in the last sort of year or so? Well, we're based out of Toronto, Canada, and we've been doing just regular car reviews for about three or four years now. And we're almost at a million subscribers, but then this whole thing hit. So now we're uh, stuck indoors playing video games. Could be worse, I suppose, couldn't it? Yeah, Here no. we are playing Gran Turismo for a living. So the plan for the video is to basically improve their times. We've just done a couple of laps, as you can see on the screen. Um, so I've gone round, we've done about five, six laps each. I've done a 120.9. We're driving the Porsche 911 in Group 3 at Laguna Seca. It's a track they're both familiar with, but it's not a car they're too familiar with. So what car have you... You've been playing the game obviously, but which cars have you been driving the we've, most so far? We've mostly been playing with the N200 Miata Roadster, the uh, modified touring one. They're a little bit slower, um, very grippy, uh, so this car should be a bit of a different challenge for you. And we've really only been on soft tires just because everyone kind of found that to be the most fun. Yeah, we're just in this for fun. We're casual gamers. <laughs> But today, we're going to turn you into the hardcore esports professional. So what times have you done? I've done 20.9. Uh, I've got a 124.889. And my fastest is 24. a 123.453. Okay, we're going to get you into the 21s. That's the aim. Yes. All right. That's got to be Let's the aim. Let's do this. Maybe if we just drive around really slow. This section here, we've got the curbs. You can you run these curbs, they're a little bit dangerous as you don't want to go beyond them. Now these big sausages here, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> These big sausages are really useful, actually. Obviously, you don't want to touch them, but you want to kind of just apex just after it. So, so pretty much where my car is here, like that's kind of your apex point. So that's a good sort of big visual reminder of where to. And on the exit, you want to definitely be using all of this. Okay. Yeah, I end up in the, I end up in the dust a lot there. Yeah, it's very easy to do. And on the entry to this corner, you're using all of that curb to just give you a better angle. So the sausages are really useful. Use um, useful for reference, not for hitting. Yeah, for reference. You don't want to touch them, but it's something you look at. Coming into this one, I'm just trying to remember my breaking point. I think I break just after the three, just after the three. And you kind of trail break in at the end and apex again, just after the sausage. Okay, so trail braking, so just to be sure, is just letting off the brakes, like half on the brakes to help turn you while you're still not so yeah, you're kind on of, the gas. At the end of the braking phase, you're kind of turning in whilst braking. So you're heading in towards the apex whilst you're on the brakes. And then uh, on our initial braking, so we've got the Thrustmaster T150 pedal and steering yeah. wheel. Do I slam my foot all the way down and like keep it there or do I like slam it down and ease off? Yeah, slam it down to begin with. And then as you're getting towards the corner, you, you, you're gonna begin to ease off. Okay. And then coming up to the walls, the corkscrew, you kind of straight line it keep to the left and it goes straight across and you're braking just before the three about where I am now and you don't yep. necessarily have to go over to the right you can kind of sort of go to the center and head in towards the corner quite early you can run your left wheels through the green right wheels through the through the curb here second gear I'd say this gear uh, this car does have quite weird gearing though to be honest it's kind of a weird one but you kind of apexing just level with the sausage using the power to get you all the way out to the right, swing back to the left, use a bit of the curb. You're turning in about halfway on that left curb. Okay. Using all of this curb, all of this curb. There's a theme developing here of just using all of the curb. And then into the final corner, you're breaking pretty much on the three. So just as the three gets onto your right-hand side of the screen, 
and you can trail break it in first gear for this corner. And on the exit here, you can use pretty much that amount of kerb, so two on the green. Ah, okay. Okay. And a two on the track. All right. Um, so we didn't have a good look at the first corner um, as we head in for the slowest lap of all time, 11 minutes 55. <laughs> the breaking point for the first corner, so there's the three board and there's this white line that you can see going across just on the right-hand side there. Yep. You're breaking just before that. Okay. Maybe a car length before it. This is a, a proper corner for trail braking. So I'm always turning in towards the apex like this whilst on the brakes. So turning and braking at the same time. And then you're patient and then you're waiting and then waiting and then you're on the power to power yourself out to the right-hand side here. So that's probably an absolute overload of information. Oh, for sure. That is going to be really <laughs> difficult to remember. Oh, I got this, 121 but, out of the gate. But yeah, obviously I'm expecting world records now, <laughs> straight on your first lap. If I back out and you continue. Whoa. <laughs> okay, and then you can, I guess, watch us in spectator mode. I'll leave, yeah, I'll leave a maybe, gap maybe so we I don't, um, so we don't uh, get anyone's draft and get a little faster for a special yeah, reason. Yeah, maybe that'll be better. So Jacob, do you want to go first or should I go first? I'll go first. Jacob, you there? Yes, I am, I'll go first. I already forgot like five of the instructions he gave us. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I remembered like three of them, so. Ooh, 23-3. So the 23-3, that's, that's, um, that's your fastest lap so yeah. far. Okay, I think I need to break a little bit earlier into turn one. Yeah, I'd say maybe a car length before that white yeah. line and you'll be good through there. If I clean up this corner. Um, yeah, for this turn, just oh. a bit wide. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 a much better line. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good line actually. I'm just trying to think of the breaking point for this one. Yeah, just maybe just before the two, but yeah, that's pretty much dead right. Okay. This is cool. I'm actually enjoying this because it's like you don't get this other than actual real driving, like with a coach right beside you. Oh, for sure. Yeah, no, it's good. Yeah, I need that coach, man. I'm, I'm in the dirt like four times, <laughs> trying all this stuff out. Take something off your mind. Oh, there's a spin. All right, oh, let's okay. go for Yuri now. <laughs> so over to Yuri now. So you're fast to 24.8 up to this point. Yep, and the last couple laps, I keep bailing, trying stuff. So. so nice and smooth on the steering and then looking for that three board with the white line, breaking just before it turning into the first corner. There it is. Keep it, keep it, keep it. That's it, that's really oh, okay, good. so is, is, that, is that a correct way to trail break? Yeah, so you went in, you head towards the apex, then pretty much mid-apex you can let off the brake and the car will, ret um, will turn better. Okay. So the moment you release the brake, the car will just begin to turn a bit better. Okay. So you just got to time that dead right. On the three, on the curb, and then gently on the power. Gently, oh. that was the problem. <laughs> Yeah, but well, that's going to be your fastest lap, I think. Okay, yeah. 23.8. So one, so one lap nice. with coaching and I'm already better. Good job. Oh, see, so what happened there? Did I break too late there? I think that might have been dirty tires. Once The problem with this track... Oh, dirt, so when you go on the sand, is that a real tires thing? Yeah, yeah, it, affect, it affects your tires, yeah. For the next sort of couple of corners, your tires won't have as much grip. Oh, okay. That's so really stuff cool. like that that I never knew about. Yeah. So when you start your tr uh, races out, do you like just do a whole bunch of laps? I think I saw that you look at the fastest qualifying times and see what they did. Do you ever like go just by yourself and do it? Yeah, if, uh, I mean, the best way to really realize, because uh, the problem for me sometimes is that I, I go into a session and do six, seven laps. I don't know if I don't know if I'm doing something stupidly wrong. Yeah. So now I need to just look at the number one time and go, oh, okay, no, uh, they're doing that and they're doing this. So let's just try and do that. Sometimes I was using the completely uh, wrong gear or yeah. for a certain corner or something like that. And then how about like picking the fastest car? Do you always do that or do you kind of just pick whatever you want? Um, for qualifying, yeah, you always want to go with the quickest car usually. All right, so I felt definitely felt better with clean tires. Thank you for that pro tip. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea that was a thing. It makes so much sense now, looking I know. back to how many times like I always crash at the same break point. All right, so have you noticed any more errors or anything I'm doing better or not really? Um, we'll see when I come back. See, I don't think this is any faster. I think, 
I think the main thing would be like smoother power. All right, I'll try to be smoother. Let me know if you notice me not being smooth. Because I know I have been told in real life that I'm very stabby with the gas and I need to fix that. Okay. Yeah, see, I don't know if I can get back to that. What did I have, 123 earlier? I'll try, I'll try now, but. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Ah, oh. so I, I, yeah, I could see, I could see there, the thing, maybe mid corner is, um, if, if we break down the corner, obviously you break, and then in the middle of the corner you have sort of a rotation phase where you're trying to really turn the car, and then you accelerate out. Uh, so there you didn't have the rotation, the car couldn't turn enough, and that meant you went wide on the exit. So I should kind of maybe concentrate on getting the car to rotate more after every yeah. braking point. Yeah, so in that first corner especially, because it's like a double apex, you hit the first apex, then you really wait and let the car turn so that you can point the car towards the second apex. Okay. Because I don't think I'm really putting that into much thought when I'm playing this game, just because I'm trying to like stay on track, hit the apexes and not yeah. crash. So now I need to really add that to get my speeds up. All right, I'll try to I'll try to rotate more and get an even faster lap, break into the 122s. Yeah, there we go. So here, you just just that's it. Yeah. yeah so okay. Yeah. Yeah. Be a bit more patient and wait for it to the point more. Yeah, because I find that if you coast, so no power, no throttle, it, the car kind of just wants to turn a bit better. Oh, okay. So, like, uh, before you give gas, like, wait a, like, a beat, and then hopefully it spins around a yeah. bit. Okay. As soon as you're on the gas, the car wants to straighten itself up. Okay. And how did you figure all this stuff out? Did you just experiment, or do you kind of naturally have, like, a gift for detecting what the car's doing in the game? <laughs> um, I suppose just from years of playing games. You just, you just work it out, really. Has this uh, translated to your uh, real life lap times? The thing that is similar between real life and, and the games is sort of the mental aspect. You know, churning out 20 laps without making a mistake. If you can do that in the game, that will help you in real life. Yeah, I noticed that when we were on the, the same. on the track with the Hyundai Veloster. Like the concentration from the game really helped me out. Getting too angry if someone does something, just chops across you or something, like not losing your cool. <laughs> Oh, we, I'm not feeling too much pressure. We, we lose our cool really all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Especially on, <laughs> on the chat. Oh, yeah. We pretty much, if somebody hits one of us, someone else will take that guy out. <laughs> they don't realize that there's like eight of us on chat. Yeah, we're ruthless. <laughs> uh, do you want to take a look at Jacob and I'll just try to yes. do a little bit more rotation and see oh, if that gets anywhere? Oh, the pressure's going to be on because I just want to say this is, I think, one of my fastest laps. It uh, looks like six tenths fastest. Unless I screw up right here with all the pressure. Oh. Far now. Yeah, that's looking really yeah. good. That's going to be a, a mid 22. Oh, come I think. on, baby. I can feel it. Yes! 22 yeah. 4. 22 4. Whew. That's really good. I only caught after the corkscrew, but it looked really smooth. I'm trying to clean everything up. The car wasn't jiggling, jiggling about at all. Oh, damn it. <laughs> a little bit much there. A little early on the gas, and it's fun. <laughs> you know how you said you want to take the curb from the, like the start on the curb to make your turn better and faster. Yeah. Is there um, is there any disadvantage to riding on the curb for too long, or should you only like kind of touch it when you need to? Um, it might unsettle your car a little bit. It doesn't. Sort of wear out your tires or anything like that, or do, or do damage to your car. Well, does it slow you but, down, or because I see the RPM? No, it doesn't slow you down. Okay. It doesn't slow you down. So as long as you can handle uh, it, like it's all good. Yeah, exactly. I think uh, if I could do a lap where you watch my braking points, I could really take some time off. So braking just before the three, the white line coming across the track, or just onto the side of the track. Trail braking it in, keeping the brake on, keep the brake on, keep the brake on. Now release. And then wait for that second apex. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Is it good? Uh, yeah. And then, is, and then here, is it um, like right there, or should I break later? I think that was about right. Again, to do a lap. <laughs> all right, all right. So remember, come, come, do a, come do a lap, come do a lap. <laughs> yeah, I'll do a lap. So do you go full brakes there and then ease off right away, or do you stay full brakes pretty much? 
full brakes for quite a long time, actually. Okay. And then off the brakes when you're turning, pretty much. So turn one, just before that white line. Trail braking it in. Off the brake, let it come back to the second apex. And you pretty much went back on the gas right away there, right? Um, a bit of a gap. Straight line on the brakes, late apex. Power out to the outside, keep it on the curb. Bit of brake. Wait for the apex. Oh, wow, you're really going apex to apex. Yeah. I don't use the curb here. Okay, that's too late, I think. Definitely before the two. Maybe two car lengths before. Maybe halfway between two and three. Ooh, that's violent. I like it. So just before the three here. In a straight line, then just turn it in. Wow. See, there's like no panic when he's playing. He knows everything. We're still trying to panic our way through a lot of it. Pretty much. Like, oh. The way he recovers like is very noticeable. <laughs> okay, I'll do one more. Yeah. Okay, I got to pay extra close attention this time. Yeah, if you're if you're going wide, just yeah, don't panic. Just accept that you've gone wide. You're going to lose time, and just try to bring the car back by slowing it down nice and gently. So I think most of the time, if you try and fight it when you're going off, the car will win and you'll go off. Bit too wide. You might be able to hear a lot of coasting, so brake and then off the power for a bit. Or coasting. Co so you brake, then you're off of both pedals for about half a second to really settle the car down. Okay. So I, I feel like I pretty much never did that until today. <laughs> Just help set, uh, settle the car down in the middle of the corner. Yeah, you stay tighter here. That also makes sense. Was that ideal for you there, that corner? Um, not perfect, but not a million miles off. Oh damn! All right. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. This is like a 121. Yeah. Damn. 21 five. All right, I'm gonna swap. But yeah, after this, if you could find a way to like record a lap that I could like download the replay and follow and try to catch up in like the next coming days, that would be. Oh yeah, I'll do that straight. I can do that very quickly afterwards. Yeah. Awesome. But like in general, how would you rate our driving um, compared to other people who play GT Sport and maybe yourself and people who are brand new? I think given you haven't played too much, have you? You've been no. quite new to the game. <laughs> I mean, we play, but we don't take it seriously. Yeah. I see potential for sure. I, I, I definitely think you can get down into a 21. And a 21 is a decent lap time for this combination. I mean, I, I only just got into a 20. And Jacob, you're only four tenths off. Yuri, was it like a second and a bit off? Is there anything that um, we can place the blame on other than anything that we're doing? Like, can we uh, complain about our pedal setup? <laughs> well, oh, hmm. maybe a little bit. <laughs> All but right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that you get the best player in the world on your set up and he, he's still setting the, the number one times you know yeah yeah i believe it we just like to find any excuse we can so yeah. when we review a car it. oh this car understeers even though it's probably our fault you always have to expand the excuse book yeah that's, that's right. always a good thing to have and i've learned that from race car drivers that uh, excuses are endless yeah oh of course yeah the they have a catalog of the weather the, yeah. the atmosphere the atmosphere is a good one too you can blame it on <laughs> Yeah, what, uh, what sea level are we at right now? I see a lot of clouds in the sky. Yeah, so I can't really shake my 124s, 123s. I, I am consistently every single lap in the 23, 24. There, another 23. If I had to summarize a couple of things that you could maybe take away and improve on, it would be um, just the overall smoothness. Um, so you watch like the fastest guy 
their movement through the corner is so fluid. The car's not dancing about at all. It's just really nice and smooth. Um, so that's sort of the end goal in terms of that. And then, yeah, just better car control with the with the brakes and then the coasting through the corner. Yeah. And then maybe just on the exit of the corner, just a bit, a bit more gentle on the power. But I've learned so much, like, okay, the dirt part, uh, how trail braking actually works, letting off the gas and off the brake and letting that rotate you around. Yeah, and just using the curbs more, because I was always scared of using the curbs because I saw my RPMs just moving a lot, so I felt like it always slowed me. Work on? Yeah, we missed yeah, our goal absolutely. of 121, but I got as close as 122, so I will take that. Yeah, and I'm at 123s. I started off at like 126s, 127s. So that's still a big jump, and then I learned a whole bunch of stuff that I need to practice with, which will probably make me faster overall. So should we, start, should we meet up at the start line? Okay, so that is not quite where this video is going to end. We continue for another couple of sessions here. Um, not with me, Yuri and Jacob. They both continued on their own. This is sort of like homework after school, if you like. And, you know, I was really impressed by their dedication because we did that one hour session and they didn't quite meet the 21 lap time, but that wasn't gonna stop them. They both continued for many laps over the next few days and I can proudly report that they both did manage to get into the 21s and we're going to show you both those laps here. So first up this is Jacob, this is going to be his uh, 21 lap time and the thing I was really impressed by for both of them was just the dedication. They both showed me throughout the coming days or the days after the session that we had, they both showed me the screenshots of all the laps they were doing and they were putting in a lot of laps like not just three or four laps, but like 20, 40, 50 laps in a session, and then, and, and, you know, the next day doing the same again. So they were really putting in a lot of time. They really did want to take this seriously and improve, and I was really impressed by that. And hopefully that's something that you can take away. Hopefully throughout the course of this video, there is something you can take away and try to improve your game. Um, even if it's not Gran Turismo, you just any racing game, try to improve that. Across the line here, 21.7. And he was really pleased with that, really, really happy. And Jacob did a really good job. And over to Yuri. Yuri was a little bit slower throughout our session. And it did take him a little bit longer. You see there, uh, you see there on the right hand side, he's on lap 50, uh, 50 something. And uh, this session has gone on for more than an hour. This is just one of these sessions, I said. Like, it, it wasn't like he just did one more session, he did loads more sessions. And eventually, he got the, got the um, pedal input as well, and uh, the wheel input. I was just really impressed and um, it was just a really good um, session, something a little bit different and just a really nice surprise because as I said at the start of the video, I watched a couple of their videos um, because I am looking at different cars at the moment and uh, I just stumbled across their channel and um, I definitely recommend going and having a look if, you, if you're in, in the car industry or the, you know, looking at cars. You know, even if you're not looking at cars, they just do good reviews. So just have a look. And um, I certainly found their videos very, very useful. And hopefully they found this session useful, as I'm sure they did. As he comes to the final corner, and um, it's going to be a lap just under 122. I'm going to leave you with his reaction. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Do check out their channel. I really enjoyed this one. I hope you did too. I shall see you next time.